All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We're back again in one of our projects here in uh, Ibadan. So as you can see, this is a deep liter house. Uh, we're just starting to introduce the feeders and the drinkers, the installation. These are automatic drinkers and uh, of course the feeders. So you can see what they look like. The, our engineer or the installer just uh, stepped out. So the entire process is just starting to take shape. So this is the first space of the building. If you come closer, you will see uh, what we have on the other side. So this is the next step. Remember this uh, farm, we have uh, three different steps. We actually partition the building into three uh, steps because of the sloping nature of the land. So we don't want to fill the entire thing, which is going to cost too much. So that is why we stepped it down. So we have the second step here. And the next step, which is down there, is what we are going to use for the brooding. So we'll brood from there and spread it into these other two compartments. So once we have birds that are about uh, three weeks, four weeks, we'll have another set of uh, one week coming in. So that's the way we designed it. So you can see uh, what it looks like for the automatic uh, drinkers. So the installation is not complete, but the water is going to drip into this, through these channels. It will drip down here. Every uh, seat that the birds drink will be replaced by the drinker automatically. So this helps to reduce labor in the farm. Because without this, you have people that will be carrying water every day into the pen house. And that is going to cost you so much. So it means you need additional farm hands. But with this now, because the water is supplied automatically and the feed, you have uh, less uh, manual activities on the farm. So that's what it looks like here. This is the poultry uh, broiler section. So we'll take you to the layer house and just show you what it looks like inside there. So the farm is still a little bit bushy because uh, we have not done much. We're still doing installation. So this is the greenhouse. You've seen this before. Uh, this video, I just want to concentrate on the poultry section, but we have, of course, our uh, greenhouse here. And this is the entrance to the layer house. And here are our new cages. So you can see the installation is still ongoing. This is not permanently fixed yet. We just place it up here. So down we have 14 units and uh, we have another 14 units here. So this is the center part. So when you are here, you can actually attend to the birds on this part. This is the feeder, we pour the feed in here. The birds will drink from here, which is the nipple. Come closer. So this is the opening, this is the door. So once you put in your birds here, close it, close it down, and they drink from here. They feed from here, and the eggs are collected from here. So these are the egg collectors, uh, where the egg rolls to feed and water. So while here, you are also able to attend to this side of the cages. So that's how it's designed. It's quite simple, but well designed and properly managed. Then of course you have the uh, buckets here. So we're going to have this on top. This is our feeder tank. We're going to place it up there. The water is going to be connected to it. And from the feeder tank, if you go, if you look out there, you see the main uh, water stand on the farm. So we're going to connect water from there to the feeder tank here. And this feeder tank will feed to the buckets. So there's going to be a filter here to take away any debris from coming in here while the birds drink clean, cool water. So that's how it's designed. So when we want to vaccinate the birds, we can easily stop the water from here, just fill in these buckets and we put our drugs and mix it adequately and the birds will take that. So these are 120 birds per unit battery cages. Uh, of course, they are foreign cages, um, hot galvanized uh, uh, pipes or cages. 
as you can see, this can last you for 10, 15 to 20 years. As long as you maintain it very well, they are very durable. So this is the 120 power unit. We also have 128 power unit. There's 120, uh, there's 160 <coughs> power unit. There's also 96 beds per unit. So what we have here is the 120 beds per unit. These cages are quite expensive now, very expensive because of, of course, we are experiencing the fall and rise of the uh, fall of the naira and rise of the dollar. So uh, these cages cost a lot currently. So that's what we have. So now we're just walking through half of the uh, building. On the other side is our snail concrete pen, but I want to limit this video strictly to uh, the poultry section. So you've seen the broiler house. The deep litter system. There we can actually do the brooding of the day old chicks, the pullets. And when they are 14 to 15, 16 weeks old, we move them here into the cages, then we'll continue with broiler production in the deep litter house. So that's how we've designed it. So the farm here is located in Ibadan, close to the tailgates. I think um, along the Lagos Ibadan Express before you get to Guru Maraji. Uh, the landmark for this area is Crane, where you have Koko Research Institute of Nigeria. So that's where this farm is located. It's very close to Crane. So, yeah, it's one of our jobs again. Hope you've enjoyed this part of the video. If you want to install your battery cages, we can help you get the cages. We can help you install them. We can install your automatic drinkers, automatic feeders on deep litter houses and whatever you want to do. So to reach us, number to call is plus two three four eight zero six eight five two five zero three two. Thank you. God bless you and bye bye.